You can use reports in Google Analytics to gain insight into your business performance. Reports can be used to monitor traffic, investigate data, and understand your users and their activity. You'll first be able to see your data in the real-time report, giving you a view of traffic to your site or your app over the past 30 minutes. Your data is then processed into the rest of the reports available in the reporting UI. You can find all of your reports by clicking the reports icon in the left-hand navigation. By default, you'll see a report snapshot as well as the real-time report. Below these are two default report collections, Lifecycle, which contains reports about acquisition, on-site behavior, and monetization, and User, which contains reports on technology and demographic information. Note that you may have different default report collections out of the box, depending on some of the information that you provided during setup, but you can always add these default reports later using the customization feature. Google Analytics has two main types of reports, an overview report, which summarizes information about a topic into several cards, each focusing on a different objective, and a details report that lets you drill into one or two dimensions to investigate data in greater detail in a table format. Click on acquisition to view the reports underneath. The first is an acquisition overview report, and the other reports focus on insights around user and traffic acquisition. On the overview report, you'll see cards that provide a snapshot of your acquisition data. Each of the cards have icons at the top. The first is a data quality icon, which indicates how much data is being represented in the card. If a filter has been applied to a card, a filter icon will also appear. Hover your mouse over the icon to learn more about the filter definition. These icons appear where relevant on all report cards in Google Analytics. At the bottom of each card are options to dig deeper into that specific insight or data set. For example, in the Sessions by Session Google Ads Campaign card, click View Google Ads Campaigns. This will load a new report with data from that card. Now let's look at the User Acquisition Report. The User Acquisition Report shows where users come from when they reach your website or app. This offers insight into how new users find your website or app for the very first time, because it uses the very first campaign, medium, and source observed for the user. Campaign is the name of the referring Google Ads campaign or a custom campaign that you've created. Medium refers to the origin of the traffic. For example, CPC, which stands for cost per click and means paid search. Source refers to the origin of the traffic, for example, Google, and gives more clarity to the medium. By default, user acquisition will show the first channel, which is the logical grouping of the source and the medium, essentially where users came from. But you can click the top of the table to change the dimension if you would prefer to see this report by campaign, source, or medium instead of channel. Notice that each dimension includes the text first user. This indicates that the dimension describes how the user was initially acquired. To add a secondary dimension, click the plus icon. As an example, choose country as a secondary dimension, and a new column for country is added to the table to break down each row by a country. Finally, let's look at the traffic acquisition report. In this report, notice that each dimension includes session. A session is a way to group user interactions based on when a user engaged with your website or your app. For example, a session begins when a user opens their browser and navigates to your website. That session would end when the user closes the browser tab to your website. The traffic acquisition report focuses on where new sessions come from, regardless of whether the user is new or returning. This report differs from the user acquisition report, which focuses on the first session from a user and excludes any additional session data from those users. You can adjust the primary and the secondary dimensions of the report in the same way as the user acquisition report. By default, most Google Analytics reports will show data for the last 28 days when you first open the report, but you can adjust the date range above the report to one of many preset date ranges or a custom date range that you choose. Lastly, if you'd like to share a report with someone who has access to your analytics account, 
Choose the Share icon and a link will be generated. This link will open the current view of the report with any edits that you've made to the dimensions or the date range. Mm -hmm.